What's up, everybody? It's me again, and it's time to lean in, bitch. We are here for Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. The episode just went off. Episode, what's this, three, four? I don't know. But today, we have Jamie and Danny. Welcome back to the lean, both of you all. Hey. Danny, we ain't seen you since Potomac. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. You know, I saw you, you, you got your yellow looking all vibrant, and we out here in these dark, you know, boring grays, but... You know, okay. you still look good too, Jay, with your, your little titty out, see your body. <laughs> Got just little titties, okay. a little body. <laughs> right, very much so. Uh, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills just went off as we just as we just said, we just watched it. And at first, I'm gonna tell you, you know, I just was very worried and scared because it was giving very horror movie tease. I just didn't know how these white women were gonna talk about these black and racial issues. But at least towards the end, I will say it got better. But before we get into it, if you're watching, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all things Lean. Of course, you can follow us at the Lean blog or on the individual pages that they have, Jamie and Danny both have. Um, but let's talk about this episode. What did we think? <laughs> what did we oh. think? Because <laughs> I, I feel like we all stressed. <laughs> Look, we all last season, all last season, we wanted Sutton to get a diamond. And now she has a diamond and I'm sitting there thinking she should be or part time. <laughs> uh, well, she shouldn't be there at all. <laughs> oh, child, she ain't ready. There's something that worries me about her. There's something that worries me about her being so. I feel like she's going overboard to prove she's not racist. Right. So you weren't here last mm, week. As they often do. Me. You weren't here last week, Daddy. So I do. I know you were supposed to be, and I want to kind of get your thoughts on the and the initial the initial. Uh, I guess early end of the conversation between her and Crystal. You know, me and Jamie gave our thoughts. What were yours? Just uh, I guess from last week, and then leading into now. <clears throat> um, Sutton definitely over exaggerated. I don't understand why she came in as strong as she did. Okay. Um, you know, when Crystal was talking, I I just didn't comprehend that at all. Mm -hmm. There was literally no reason for her to go ham like that. Crystal was literally going to speak about her experience. Mm -hmm. That was Sutton's time to shut up and learn. I really thought that she was going to like, I thought she was going to have a moment of self-awareness and hear how she was coming off mm -hmm. and like autocorrect and be like, yo, let me shut up and let you talk. And then that just never happened. And then the tears came and I'm like, oh, oh, it's default. It She's on autopilot now. <laughs> and what it was is she ended up being a stereotypical Southern woman. She didn't yeah, so. open her eyes to see a different point of view and see how she was coming across. It was very tone deaf. Yep. Um, so did you feel, so did you feel that Crystal, cause what basically, and it, you know, we're kind of moving into and moving around throughout the episode later on her and Crystal talk. Right. And so mm -hmm. she's basically like, you know, basically saying like, it wasn't what you said. It was the delivery and she didn't like the fact that she was like, you know, I know you're that girl basically trying to make it seem like that it was more so in the word and delivery of, of the way Crystal gave it to her. Do you think that it was that or she just trying to, I feel like she was reaching in my opinion and honestly reaching and going deeper in the grave that she was halfway in. But what are your thoughts, uh, Danny? I think she was, when she said that Crystal, the way she said it, don't tell me you're not that girl. I think that was another moment to deflect. Um, mm -hmm. Cause you should have seen past, mm -hmm. you know, you should have been proud to say, no, I'm not that girl. Um, it would have been so easy to respond that, that way. <laughs> when she said, I don't see color, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, well, oh, it, Lord. I just don't oh, see what's Cortez... so difficult about saying what you mean. If you if you believe that everyone is equal, say, I believe everyone is equal. Well, see, that's the issue. If that's really me. what you believe. The issue, I think that it was a lot of, it was getting all confused in the, the wording of, I don't see color because you got two ways you can take that. You can take it as I see everybody equal or also in the, in the, in the sense of everybody, I don't see any color and I feel like everybody's, nobody has different experiences. Basically to her, to her cutting off crystal, I feel like she had already kind of cut off her experience. So it was looking like she was saying that, but then it turns out that she really was mm -hmm. saying that I think we're all equal in terms of not being treated but just that nobody gets any different treatment, you know, from her and anyone else. So that was just what I got from it. But uh, Jamie, yeah. I mean, you know that at the end of last week, I was kind of on the fence with Crystal. I was like, I felt she escalated it. I felt yeah. like 
she kind of took it there when it wasn't necessary. I felt she was looking for a moment. And then after I had some time to kind of sit back, honestly, myself and you two probably would have responded the exact same way. If someone would have interrupted my story saying, I'm not going to talk about race issues, my first response would have been, well, that's easy for you not to talk about it. And she's absolutely mm-hmm. right. Crystal was absolutely right in that situation. She was responding to the energy that Sutton was giving off. I actually have a lot more respect for Crystal now because she immediately saw that there was no point in pushing the conversation and she just let Sutton go off on her tangent. Um, I think with Sutton, it, 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 it is and it was a complete lack of self-awareness. Mm-hmm. You and I, we know when someone says, we know what the inference of I don't see color while that may be something nice and you may not look at someone's skin color and and judge them that way it's also a privilege that you do that because the rest of society and the rest of the world does see color and society is set up that way so for you to flippantly be like oh well it doesn't matter to me everybody's equal that only really affects you it doesn't help anybody else and so i think sutton just completely like pushing forward with this oh well you hurt my feelings you hurt my feelings it was well sis you also could have sat there and ate your food and your feelings would have never been hurt. <laughs> you could have let yeah, me finish like... up my story. <laughs> you you hurt your own feelings at this point. And with the whole I don't see color thing, that means, you know, you may not, you're saying you don't see the fact that someone is black and black is beautiful. So if you don't see color, you don't see their beauty. Yeah, you don't see their, you don't, you're, you're, you're willfully ignorant to all the great things, but also all the very real, like, negative aspects that come along with that it may not be from you but people of color get a lot of negative pushback from society and for you to just oh well that doesn't really affect me you're right it doesn't affect you and that's great that you think i'm equal however (laughs) there's a lot of people who don't (laughs) so i need you to i need you to see color she messed up she she failed that test when she cut crystal (laughs) off that because no what we talked about last week danny I'm i'm not sure if you watched it we were talking about how Kyle, you know, listened to Garcelle experience and how she mm-hmm. just listened. She just shut up and listened. And that should have been the route that uh, Sutton should have, should have take, took it with yes. her. I, I agree because even in the moment as well, when she went to talk to Crystal again outside, mm-hmm. she made it about her again. again. Mm-hmm. But when I was 25, somebody told me, are you racist because you're from the South? She still in turn made something about her. And it That's wasn't about you at all. That is wild. So then she went from, yeah, she went from cutting someone's experience off. She then she went into I don't see color. Then it went to well, people people assumed that I'm racist because I'm from the south, and I just feel like I'm like she was looking every every little inch of time she had on TV was just a waste because it was just <laughs> it was a bad bad horror movie for me. I'm just like, girl, you are not making this easy for you and I or love the cast so much because the cast is honestly uncomfortable i mean look at erica she tried mm. to bring eric in and erica's like and erica girl. said Mm-mm. nope <laughs> not me right then. i got enough issues going on right now baby <laughs> <laughs> and dorit oh. speaking about erica and here goes sutton well girl i have mul- i'm multicultural around me too i was like something oh girl is going on <laughs> something's going on with sutton i, I don't know what but she should not be this emotional. I'm not sure if she, I, honestly, and I was going to ask y'all this, I feel like she was emotional because of the recent events of last year, knowing that this is a TV show, and now it's out there. So I think the perception of what it would look like when it got out was just weighing over her mind, personally, because she knew that she had fucked up. <laughs> I mean, that's I can. I, I can I agree know. with that thinking when I go further into her telling Garcelle, you know, later on the show, why'd you bring that up? I didn't want to talk about it, you know, later on in the show yeah. about the whole telephone right. thing. Mm-hmm. I can see where you're headed with that because it seems like now she's very self-aware of what she's doing mm-hmm. because she's like, I don't want this to come off on TV wrong. Right. Exactly. Well, and Crystal nailed it on the head when she was talking at the very end of the episode. She says Sutton is a deeply insecure woman and that's part of what turned me off from her last season she comes in hot and she talks about labels and how much stuff costs and you and i know when people automatically that's what they lead with it's almost like this this front that they're putting on for the type of person that they want you to see erica embraces it i grew up white trash i grew up poor i busted my ass and this is where i'm at now this is what i'm embracing (laughs) sutton 
Sutton really attempts to distance herself, even with that comment, like you said, Danny, to Dorit. Oh, no, I, I'm very well-traveled. I'm very well this. And it's like, well, okay, girl, all I said was Erica has been in a larger city for a lot longer than you. That's not a knock but, to you, but that could be why. <laughs> but then when she named the places that she was referring to as culture, I was like, Girl, Paris? <laughs> <laughs> like we're not yeah, referring so to that type of culture. That's all white said, people. <laughs> what? I we're also, not referring you know, to that I type really of culture. Not, like, I was kind of iffy about Dorit kind of being like, oh well, you know, I've been abroad all my life, so you know, I had to go back and watch that part because I thought that she was saying that because she was abroad, she didn't know that there was any issues on race. But then basically, what she was saying, I called it back, was that she was saying that she she wasn't aware of their being a stereotype for Southerners being racist, yeah. white Southerners. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right. Dorit. Which also, I, like, I don't believe either. Yeah, I, don't I don't believe, believe, that, believe that either. I'm like, baby, that's kind of I a very well-known stereotype. It's the fucking Confederacy, bitch. Like, <laughs> Right, I was called a, a nigger uh, two weeks ago, literally here, no lie, because- They man, still make fun of our country yeah. about that. <laughs> right. But. So, and I'm not in the South, I'm in LA, baby, the most liberal, place in, in, in the States. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think these these conversations, and I mean, and we've talked about it before, when you bring minorities onto these shows, yeah, it's it literally is a recipe for train wrecks like this because you're forcing white privileged women to be in situations that they honestly would not be in mm -hmm. otherwise. Um, I'm sure Kyle and Rena and all them, they know Garcelle. They've, you know, we've been friends for 20 years. We've run in the same circles. Running in the same circles is not the same as Garcelle is at my house every single time we have an event and we grab lunch and we talk and she's come to family. Like, there's something completely mm -hmm. different. And there's, we understand that with stuff like this, groups can be homogenous and they start looking alike. So when you, this, this formula is just basically adding pepper to <laughs> a sea of salt. And and expecting there not to be any kind of difference in, in taste. And these white women are not handling it well at all. No. Well, well, you and I had this conversation before, Jamie, with one of our friends about, you know, Bravo kind of forcing um, these racial talks and situations um, that the people aren't equipped to handle. Uh, Bravo's not equipped to handle it. <laughs> That's what that, yeah. ain't well, equipped to, to handle it. And I mean, it makes good TV, and I guess that's and and they can it pat themselves on the back TV, and be though. like, it doesn't. Well, it's it's kind of like, it's kind of cringy. Water cooler. It's, it's, cringy it's cringy. I, it's cringy. It's cringy. I feel like people like you got Sutton, who you know, last season, okay, whatever, it was like blah, and then this season, like you look at my page, I'm like rooting for Sutton. Okay, yes, yeah, Sutton got a peach. They advertise this person as like the new face, not new face, but like the new place person of the show, and then here she go with this. It's like, well, damn. Who the hell yeah. can you can you stand for? Cause it's not like everybody gonna put you make you look stupid at the end. <laughs> it's okay. Can't stand anybody. Right. You gotta yeah. be like, well, Dad, is, is she a little racist? I don't know. But um, I'm I did, not. Like, I'm not giving up on her. I'm not giving up on her. But she. Well, it's some other reasons why I'm kind of still on her nerves. But I do want to talk about a lighter moment um, that her and um, Crystal did bond on were the passing of their fathers. And I actually, you know what, the story that Crystal gave about her father uh, being scared about someone saying like, mm -hmm. hey, that, that kind of touched me, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But it just, I, 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 I was like, oh, like, I, I really feel like I'm growing closer to Crystal. It's just because, like, not as it relates to Sutton, because I feel like Sutton is not equipped to handle <laughs> Crystal. Crystal is clearly <laughs> a very secure woman. And just the way she handled her at the very end of the episode, when she was like, Dude, like you are. When well, she was like, you um, what you say? You 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 need to you you're too uptight. You need to relax. Like, I was just like, I kind of want to see Crystal get into it with somebody else. I would love to see her with someone again because Sun is not equipped for this battle. That can go toe to toe. Oh, no, so I can't. Yeah. So I can't go back and forth with anybody. All right. she's gonna say is that's not nice. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Let the mouse go. <laughs> <laughs> Sutton, God bless it. Like I really, I'm my 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 opinion on Crystal absolutely, and I agree with you 100 percent, Cortez. That conversation about their fathers, it was a great bonding moment. Mm -hmm. But if you go back and look at that, Sutton once again monopolized the conversation, yeah. rather than sitting there and asking more questions to Crystal of, "Tell me about your father. How did you guys handle that? I experienced something similar. It was, oh my God, my dad too, and now I'm going to tell you all about what what happened." Um, I just you know, don't think I will... that Sutton, 
Sutton is just not one of those people that has a reciprocal kind of conversation. <laughs> it's well, always very no, it's all about me, her. Me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't think that Sutton listens to understand. She listens to respond. So it's that whole definitely. time, with Crystal, the whole time Crystal was telling her about her father, and Sutton's mind is, okay, when are you going to break and stop talking so I can tell you that we can bond over this? <laughs> I had the same thing happen. Me. That's very true. <laughs> she checked out as soon as Crystal said, she my father wants died. to be... <laughs> It's like she wants to be in and included on, on, on everything. Obviously, that comes up later. Uh, obviously, on. that. I, and I think and that comes back with the insecurity. I, right. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's just, it's like, how do we never see these signs before? It's like, how is this coming out now? It's weird because we watched her all last season. Maybe, she, I, and she's got just as much camera time. But I do want to talk about this little drink situation. This is why I actually, <laughs> yeah, I actually yelled. I thought it was genius. I'm sorry. I know y'all may feel crazy about Kathy. I think Kathy. I love crazy, Kathy. No, hold on, hold on. I said so she's funny. crazy, but I do like her. Okay, so so we do like. I her. love crazy. Mm-hmm. I, she, I Kathy's like a it. mess. Maybe she's... she stayed up till two a.m. in Kyle's bed, eating hot Cheetos and drinking yes. Red Bull. Like it's the fan she's another me. one. Who... It's the fan. Because <laughs> I too sleep with the fan. Oh, you're long. I love it. I Go love ahead, it. Go ahead, <laughs> she literally had a Red Bull at two in the morning <laughs> with hot Cheetos. <laughs> And then go tell and then Kyle. Slept. Leave and me then alone. Slept get out till noon. When she's sick. <laughs> <laughs> and then slept till noon. I get yeah, Kathy was... to me. She's completely not what I thought she was going to be, but I like it. I, I absolutely. Can I be love honest? Yeah. I expected her to be like Sutton. Yes, I was just very prim that. and I was proper. Expecting... Yes. I thought that she would be very materialistic. I thought she'd be very just. I, I agree. She, but she's really not like she's low key, but she makes her presence known clearly. Like, and she's a fun, and she's a fun woman. She's probably one of the women. That's a thirty dollar. That's a thirty dollar fan from Walmart. She was carrying. Yes, and those are the best. Those are the best kinds. Correct. The one that's loud at night. <laughs> mm. Loud. Why do I? Why do I know the price? Because <laughs> okay, <laughs> I got one from Walgreens. <laughs> Uh, but the the joke, so the joke itself, I thought was hilarious, and I wish it had actually worked out. But I'm not gonna lie to you, when I saw them doing it before I knew that was an actual prank, I'm like, that is not no damn uh, martini, because I can't even do a shot like that. You know, I'm a drinker, Danny. You know, he drinks. Yeah, uh, I was thinking to myself, <laughs> like, wow, Kathy is really the goat. She's the greatest of all time. Very much able that. To do that. So y'all thought, that, y'all thought it was real. Initially, I did. And in my mind, I'm like, I guess this is what rich women do when they play drinking games. For us, it's like, oh, we're doing shots and we order like a shot of tequila. This They're is like, a can fireball. We get a, a, yeah, exactly. Can we get a $60 martini and, and all of this and then we're going to chug it? Like, let's do bottoms up. I'm like, we're not the same. <laughs> we live they very drink different fireball lives. fireball in this cast. Like, you notice that they That's true. took fireball. So when I saw martini, Oof. I'm like, why have you never seen it? But the, it, what gave it away was when they sh- they flashed the camera to Kathy when she was drinking it. And she kind of was pre- like pretending too hard, like it was too hard to swallow. And I'm like, no, wait a yeah. minute. I, like, I, no, wait a minute. It was, it was funny. Right. It was funny to me, though. But um, I wish they would have kept it. It was great. Kept it going um, and sudden ruined it. <laughs> I I really love it. I think Kathy. I mean, we may have talked about this before. We were expecting Kathy to come and kind of like gather Kyle just because the way Kyle has always mm-hmm. positioned Kathy in the past, it's mm-hmm. Kathy and Kim gang up on her all the time. And I was expect- expecting Kathy to come and like be this almost like author- uh, authoritarian figure and have Kyle like shaking in her boots. And it turns out Kyle is like her mom, like making sure she didn't put glue in her goddamn <laughs> eyes and like <laughs> making sure she goes to bed <laughs> and like, She's just a nut, and I can see that she is yeah. going to be one of those women who kind of does her own thing and is so detached from the drama that's happening in front of her, just because it just doesn't. It, th- these women, one, are not in her pay grade. Mama has money, and so why does she need to concern herself with this? But she's just fun, and she's genuinely like, let's just be stupid. I love that she, her coming that, on the um, her coming on the show makes me realize yes, Paris is really her daughter. Because Paris oh, is yes. just as wacky. Very yeah, so. very spacey. Very I spacey. Do, I want to say something because I, I forgot to, not forget about it, I want to talk about that, but um, 
definitely, she was definitely like detached from the drama. Even when they were discussing the whole thing at the table, if you look at the, the whole screen, she's like back there talking about something else that they got to do. I mean, they were not that far <laughs> at the table. But she was having a whole yeah. conversation, and then Kyle finally was like, and then she leaned in over here. But yeah. Paris, so yes, Paris did come up. You know, Paris has come up many times, and it's like, okay, is she going to make an appearance on the show? I would like to see that. But basically, Garcelle expressed that she was, like, annoyed by uh, Paris just because she was always on her phone and that I guess she met on the reel. And Kyle was kind of like, well, I'm glad we okay now because we wasn't. I would have been. I was like, oh, Kyle. No, you wouldn't, bro. You would not have. You <laughs> wouldn't have. I will that say deep. that it wasn't that deep. And I think, you know, Garcelle didn't deliver it well, but I think she really meant it, like, in a joking way. I'm like, girl, why yeah. is you here? Like, the way we would think. Yeah. But it, it, yeah. She came across, like, so... Her tone was just. Well, see, that's Garcelle. We understood what she meant. We understood mm -hmm. what she meant because that's how we all joke. To people that are are, are not, yeah. <laughs> they took Kathy that as, "Ooh, why are you bit. here?" <laughs> well, Ka and I love that Kathy looked at Kyle and said, "You tell her." <laughs> She's mm -hmm. like, "Girl, I'm not getting into this." Yeah, <laughs> you tell Garcelle her. Garcelle is very. But, her tone is like that anyway. You really don't yeah. know. Like her tone is just the same. Honestly, is the black version of uh, what's her name? Erica's, they just very like, e -e 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 -e. yeah, like you don't really know where they're going, how they're going, only if they're like laughing and you know they're happy. Other than that, it's like you don't understand. So, yeah. I understand what she was saying, but I mean, Me if I was Kathy, I would have been like, like what she said, you get to oh. tell her. <laughs> hold on, <dude. laughs> right now, hold on, not my, not my daughter, <laughs> not my daughter, not my daughter, but uh, but it was great. It's that that the little thing, that whole situation of them up there talking about the slippers and I it's it was interesting because Garcelle and Sutton are so like close they're probably the two of the closest uh off the screen and they hang out consistently yeah. but through this episode I really caught Garcelle like looking at Sutton like girl you stop shut up stop talking about that this is that's ridiculous you coming off stupid like really she didn't say much at the table, <laughs> I hope though. they have I was a scene wondering what well, she's gonna say something she didn't say it at the table at all like she said yeah. nothing I was wondering, like, was she going to interject? Oh, Garcelle? She have? Yeah, she didn't say anything. Yeah. Well, they they may have, but it was she may have spoken, but it may have edited it out. Um, yeah. To make it seem like our, like Sutton was alone and in, in feeling that way. Well, and also Garcelle really, whenever all of them were jumping on, uh, what's her name, uh, Denise last season, Garcelle didn't really insert herself in it a lot. There was a couple of times where she, Garcelle is very much, it, it seems to me the kind of person that's, I'll speak up for you when I absolutely need to, but if you're getting in something that j really doesn't involve me, why am I gonna insert myself in this? It doesn't make any sense. You're a big girl, yeah. you can, yeah. you, you said what you said, stand it mm -hmm. and then deal with it. Mm -hmm. and, and she Garcelle even told Denise last season, like, don't run. Yeah, and I mean, in the confession, she even said something must be going through something because I don't understand why mm -hmm. she's reacting like this. So they was like, she was like, they need to ease, just ease up. Yeah. Yeah. She said that. Yeah. She did. But I mean, yeah. but they're not, but they're not going to ease up. <laughs> like, come on now. They didn't ease and up I don't believe, and I don't believe, and I don't believe she's going through anything. She's going through being herself. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't think yeah. she's going through anything. I think, cause I mean, my thing is she put her foot in it, girl. Now keep walking in it. Cause at this point you yeah. put your foot in it and then one more foot and then you put, then you put heels on and you walk some more in it. So now go ahead and be out of yeah. there like a damn deer so at this point <laughs> you're in the middle you're in the middle of it you only got four ways to go before you get out of it you gotta you gotta walk through it again so deal with it that's like that's like rena telling you know garcelle last week girl i can't promise you that i'll never um right you know rena is who <laughs> she is and that's just that sutton needs to walk with that same confidence she, she has, yeah she even she even if good. even if people aren't gonna like you just be you because rena well, doesn't have no problem <laughs> But Rena also ain't racist. <laughs> oh, yeah. So do y'all think, so at the end of the episode, Crystal is basically like on the phone. I thought this was a bit mm. dramatic myself, but uh, she's on the phone basically talking about Sutton, how she really, really like, was the type of girl she would hang with. And she said like Sutton was coming for her. Do you feel like Sutton coming for her? No. No. If anything, Crystal But you know, she's she talking because... to her friend. No, but if Crystal, when she came out, when they were talking about the slippers, Crystal said, oh, and those are the things I donate. 
Like, she's the one taking digs. <laughs> I caught that. She did say yeah. that. She did say yeah. that. I she said, that. I donate stuff more expensive or something like that. No, she so said, I, I donate stuff that, their... she said, I donate stuff that looks like that. That looks like that. They they just did not get off on the right foot. And I think Crystal is very much a no-nonsense type of person, and I get it. And so is Sutton. But Sutton displays behavior or nonsense. And I think that that really, really annoys Crystal to the point where it's just like, girl, it, I'm we don't have to gel and that's completely fine. We can I try to make Crystal, nice for the cameras. I think Crystal made up her mind when she said, you can't talk to her. It's like, she goes from zero, you know, she's too intense each time. Like, yeah. I think Crystal we'll probably just is not gonna engage unless she has to. Well, yeah. it seems Very like Meredith she's, marks like, with she's it. kinda like washing her hands with her. But it's, but you know, Sun is the type of person that they feel like, you know, I may have gotten on her nerves, but she can't possibly be that mad at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel yeah. like, so I think like her going to her room at the end of the episode, I think she's going in with the intentions of, and I, I don't know what's going to happen. I was going to ask y'all, like, what do y'all think is going to happen? But I do feel like it's going to- What they told us? She walking on her she's naked. She's not going to be, she's, huh? I think they said she walks in on her in the nude. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like she's going to go in <laughs> expecting Crystal to, you know, welcome her and kind of be like, I'm sorry for doing it. this. And I think Chris is going to be like, no, it's cool. We good. Like, we don't buy her. Yeah. My thing yeah. is this. She's like, I came to bring you a coat. So are you trying to buy her something? Because Crystal don't need you, don't need like a pity gift. To me, that's almost like another tone deaf thing that can be taken racially. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, Lord, please. <laughs> Lord. Please Lord. <laughs> um, the intent, the intention is there. But I think, you know, we just talked about now, what do you need to go and give the poor little Asian girl a coat? <laughs> Cause you're afraid of her, I'm gonna go give you a gift. <laughs> wait, did wait? Did she buy her a coat or was it bringing her Crystal's coat? Like I think that was coat? a little. Coat. I don't. Uh, like you know, like one know. of those she things like, they bringing... have in the cabins, maybe. She yeah. said I was bringing you a coat. <laughs> she just said I was bringing oh, your not, coat. Not a random coat I found. <laughs> <laughs> but I do believe but that it's... Crystal kicked Sutton hard on purpose. I believe she took that chance. Yeah. Like, girl, shut up. <laughs> yeah, she, oh, she yeah. put some joy it's... in that. Well, and you you also know <laughs> that whenever you automatically don't gel with somebody, you you tend to go after them a little bit because you're like, bitch, I already can't stand this bitch. Oh, yeah. I already don't like her. We already don't gel it. And you're making me sit here in this room and engage with this person. So I'm going to take every little opportunity I can to let that bitch know <laughs> that right. she gets on my nerves. I don't uh, think she's going to poke but, at her, but I think she's going to be like zero tolerance for her. And she's probably oh, yeah. going to realize, you know, I, I really feel like that she thinks, despite it all, that they have bonded over this and they have a possibility to be friends. But I think Crystal's definitely done with it. I don't think I she's going to. I agree. I agree I with you. Know. I also will say that I'm going to become very exhausted at seeing them to go at it all season. You know what? Yeah, it's going to become very Erica exhausting. It's, it's going to be giving Drew and uh, Latoya. Because <laughs> I'm ready, a little bit I'm ready to hear. <clears throat> I'm ready to hear her tell her that her pants are ugly. I will stay there. <laughs> I am ready because they that were. Because I wonder honest. what happens, but I mean, clearly it's like they're gonna get into it all the time, and it's gonna be like all the oh time. My gosh, but I even really after the things. um, even after the first episode on Watch What Happens Live, mm -hmm. you could tell they're you still they're still not they're still not okay. Yeah, at all. They were taking little digs at each other. I loved it. Every time they had a chance <laughs> of something bad about, you know, who they had to pick from the cast or something bad, they would pick each other. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do appreciate, um, you know, this happened after the episode last week. I do appreciate Sutton genuinely apologizing and not apologizing with any but this or but that. You know, she went on social media and gave Crystal her apology. Um, and she didn't give any excuses for it. Um, and she said, I'm going to yeah. try and do better. So, you know, to me, not only apologizing, but saying you're going to try and do better. You know, that's hopefully she does. And I appreciated Crystal yeah. receiving it, too. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see like how six, that, seven yeah. months ago. Of course, she she got her way to. Yeah, her. I'm just saying. <laughs> but remember, we're not going to see it. We're not going to see it on the show. We can't say, girl, she just apologizes. She's doing this again. We got to well, remember that. Well, no, was... she's going <laughs> yeah. to do it again at the reunion. Trust me, at the reunion, she's going to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gonna, they can't, it's, she, it's, I think that's what I'm scared of with Sutton. It's seeing her this episode, it's it's a complete lack of self-awareness. She does not realize that she is coming off the way she's coming off. Yeah, she's and coming yeah, you're exactly frustrated. Yeah, you're hurt, but girl, on. at all, yes. And it's going to be more difficult for her because she's going to be in a situation. Last reunion, she was only there a little bit, and it was virtual for her. 
It's gonna be an oh, in-person oh, reunion right. this time. Oh, Lord, she gonna start crying. Yes. Oh yes. God, I can't do that. I can't do that. Right, I'm exhausted that already. I, I will say, I thought I, I will say, I thought I wasn't gonna like Crystal, but this episode made me like her a little bit. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, she's just very. She still got a ways to go. Very... She still got a way to go, but yeah, I, st- I like her a little bit. I. You can tell she's I a little think... elitist. A little elitist. Mm-hmm. But some of the some of the comments elitist. she made, she made the comment about the the donation. She made the comment about going to Lake Tahoe all the time and stuff like that. So she has it in her. I mean, and with this group, you kind of have to have a little bit. I'm glad she has just enough. <clears throat> but I'm I'm also glad that she's very much so in touch with reality. At least what is coming. Yes. Up. Like she's yeah. not too far removed to where it's like, well, you know, I I like that about her. So I will continue to. You know, yeah. See what she got to talk about, and then until she pissed me off, hoping she don't, Lord. <laughs> I also appreciated her not losing her culture, even though she married a white man. That too. Yeah, I also well, appreciate her still being buried. So, okay, I would, I would we like her to bring her chance. brother on more. I would like her to bring her brother on more. That's what I would oh, yeah, enjoy. You can, you can enjoy that. Well, on that note, <laughs> <laughs> we are about to lay out. I think we've covered everything. The episode was, like I said, it was okay. It was all sudden. Yeah, it was. It was. It was all of a sudden. It was, it was all, she all of a sudden. That, she earning that all paycheck. All of a sudden. <laughs> uh, now we see how she got this 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 diamond or this what this this whatever it is, and um, hopefully she keeps it because she in hot water. Um, <laughs> Jamie, myself, and Danny on IG uh, at their names below, and also, of course, at the Lean Block. You can find all content there. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all things Lean, and we will see you all next week for next episode week. whatever it is. <laughs> Until- oh, next week is when they find out about Erica. This is when Erica's storyline oh, picks up next Erica, week. Oh, but you know, that's going to happen. That's going to happen at the last five minutes. Speaking of Erica, I want to add this really quickly. Um, Antonio sent me an article today. Apparently, uh, Erica is going to be on some show. The scandal between her and Tom will be on some show. Let me look at my phone. Ooh. Yes, I should have. I meant to. Uh, She's getting that coin. Screen. She has to pay but off it, some debts. It's going to be. Hold on. Dang, go back. Hold on. You down that glass. glass. Was it water? Look, was it water? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yeah. So it's going to so uh, there's a so there's an ABC news special on Hulu. Um, 2020 called, called the Housewife and the Hustler, and so her <clears throat> and her husband will be featured on that show. Uh, I think it starts June 14th. I don't know if her episode June 14th. So it so might I'll, be. Um, remember they had the ABC one. They're the ones who did the special on Britney Spears. I think. They, yeah, they the investigative yes. documentaries. Oh, this is going to be think good. It's a, I think oh, it's part of that oh, series. Did, we need to have a viewing party for that. That's going to be good. Yeah. You might do that. You might do that. If, 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 if people are right. You don't have enough going on. No, it's fine. You like, don't have if, enough if, going if, on. If the Add people want to see it, we're going to give it to them. I'm just saying. So, uh, like I said, we're going to get out of here. Lean out. Like, subscribe, comment. See y'all later. Y'all have a good night. All right. Bye. Good night, guys.